Hi, I'm Paul, and this is Fun with Paul, working on an Evinrude Ficht V4 starter. Uh, the starter is not spinning up properly, and I've read it might need to be lubed, the Bendix, so I'm trying to do that. And this is what I'm at so far. I've got the upper cowl off, half of the lower cowl off, to get to the starter. Unfortunately, there's two bolts. Um, sorry, there's one bolt down here. And then there's two bolts here and here, and it still won't come out. I think there's another bolt on the other side, maybe down from the top. Anyway, to get to that, I've got to pull the flywheel cover off. To get the flywheel cover off, there's a whole bunch of little perimeter bolts all the way around, stainless bolts. You know, they look something like, something like this. I don't know, there's like 10 or 12 of them. Well, to get the last two out in here, you have to move the EMM out of the way and then unplug this plug for the flywheel sensor, remove it. Anyways, that's where I'm at right now. I thought I'd get a video before we get too far along because I know once I get greasy, I'm not going to want to do this. Hi, I'm Paul and this is Fun with Paul uh, taking apart an Avenrude 115 horsepower starter fixed it's a 2001 and it's not spinning up properly um, and I've read it might need to be lubed but then I've read it maybe it doesn't but I'm gonna find out so this is where I'm at so far I've got the uh, port side to cover off everything else that's connected to that is removed I've removed the mounting bolts the positive the starter cable the lower mounting bolts the two upper mounting bolts and it still doesn't want to come out. I thought there was another bolt inside. Now doing some research, I don't think there is. But I thought, well, let's take the cover off anyway. And uh, there's a whole bunch of retaining bolts all the way around the perimeter for that. Well, to get to the last two in there, you have to pull the EMM off. So that's been at least loosened and slid backwards. So now where we're at is getting the flywheel cover off. Well, there's two throttle parts that connect. Uh, you can see that square drive going in there, and there's another one. If you can see it, let's see, right there, another square drive. Those just push off, lift off, and then the flywheel cover comes up. So that's where I'm at so far. All right, there's the flywheel cover off, and then the starter Bendix just lifts right out. And I found it actually it looks like it does need some lubrication. So I'm going to put some grease on that. Everything else looks okay. Uh, maybe grease those gears in there and then put it back together and see if that helps. It doesn't look like I need to remove the starter. So I think that might've been the easier way to do it is pull the cover off and not pull the starter out. Anyway, um, that's where I'm at so far. Okay, here the Bendix is back in. It lifts out pretty easily. Getting it back in is a little bit of a trick with that gear. That, low, that big lower gear is just riding on the Bendix and it just spins in a bearing at the bottom and there's another bearing on the top inside the flywheel cover right there put some grease in there um, I would not recommend try turning the starter over with the cover off because that Bendix is gonna cock and probably damage the lower bearing if not the gears and the T so I'm gonna put the cover back on and uh, put it all back together or at least the the mechanical parts before I try starting it up before I crank it over all right there's all the mechanical parts all back together again earlier in the video I pointed to the starter bolts and pointed this way I sorry I forgot they actually go this way there's one here and one there and they go down from the top the third one's down behind that the manual calls it a hose clamp it's actually a hose bracket so when you hear the word hose clamp it's a hose bracket it's to hold this hose and a positive uh, starter cable <clears throat> also in re removing the EMM as far as I know that's the only screw you have to undo it's a 5 16 bolt the 3 8 on this side and the 3 8 on that side if you look at it very carefully there's a slot on the EMM and I actually removed them but I think if you remove that forward bolt you can just slide this corner forward First, you have to tilt up the EMM a little bit to get it to clear the, for, the mounting on the front. And then just slide the EMM, this corner forward, and this cor corner to starboard. Once that's clear of the bolt, you can push this one to starboard, 
and it should just lift off those mounting bolts. It might help if you remove the um, plugs, but I don't think you have to if you're careful. There's enough give in all of the um, wiring and the hoses that if you're careful, I don't think you have to remove any of that. Uh, as far as the throttle linkage, that went together pretty easily. It's just a matter of getting it lined up. Don't forget to put that back on when you're done. The, uh, I guess the throttle position sensor. And then uh, that's the air temp sensor. When I put the air cleaner, well, uh, whatever that's called, air cover back on. And then, uh, anyway, so that's it's all back together. And the water's running. And this is on the, the, the weaker of the two batteries that used to just spin. I think the battery's okay. I think it's the wiring because it's longer. It's the battery on the port side, which goes to the battery switch on the starver side, then goes back to the starter. So let's see if it starts. It used to just go and spin and not engage the flywheel, so kind of like that. Zzz. But that's what it's supposed to do. If the engine starts, it's supposed to disconnect the Bendix, and uh, then the Bendix just spins, so you don't damage your starter motor, so you don't have the engine driving the starter. Um, anyway, it, so far as I it can tell, it looks like it was a success. It's not that hard a job, actually. It, it seemed like a lot bigger when I was doing it. You do not need to remove the starter. Oh, I forgot to mention, yes, it does need lubrication. The, that starter Bendix was all dried grease and gummed up. It's a 2001 engine, and it's now 2019, so it's, you know, 18 years. Yeah, move metal moving parts need lubrication, so it needed to be greased. But the, uh, I think I counted as 11 of these flywheel bolts, uh, the flywheel sensor screws come off just to unscrew that thing and get it out of there. There's a plug up under the EMM for that. There's two more bolts under the EMM. That's why the EMM has to come off. Um, it's really not that hard a job once you know how to do it. You really, oh, let me see, would you have to get that the lower cover off? If you were careful, you could get these two bolts and that bolt off from down inside the cover. You can see the altitude of the cover here reaches up to about here. So I suppose you could do it without removing the cover. It was just easier for me to remove the six bolts that hold the cover on. I've had it off before the lower port side. Um, and then uh, it's really not that big a job uh, once you know how to do it. Now you do.